Once you develop some experience in chess, you start to realize something. The only move people ever play is e4. You've been trying to improvise with the first four moves of the Roy Lopez, but it's not going well. You need a better opening. You need the Sicilian defense. And not just any Sicilian defense. In the next three minutes, I'm going to teach you how to use the Sicilian dragon to reduce your opponents to a quivering, traumatized mess and win back the affection of your deeply ashamed relatives. Let's get started. It starts with the open Sicilian, which goes e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, C takes d4, knight takes d4. The dragon comes from this line, so if they don't play these moves... Eh, don't worry about it, they probably will. Attack their pawn with knight f6, and they will defend with knight c3. Here we play the move g6, and this is the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Why is it called the dragon variation? Good question. What is the plan? The plan is to fiend keto this bishop. Develop quickly and attack on the queen side using your pawns in the open c file. White continues with bishop e3, preparing to castle queen side, and then you fiend keto. This is the setup you're going for. The plan is to castle king side, develop like this, and use the powerful bishop in combination with these pawns and the rook to attack their king, which will pretty much always end up on the queen side. Remember the plan. If you don't remember the specific moves, remember the structure and that you will attack on the queen side. Do not rely entirely on memory to play good chess. This is for idiots. Now, let's rely entirely on memory to learn some chess. White plays f3, which prevents you from annoying them with knight g4. If they don't play f3, annoy them with knight g4. After f3, castle. They will play queen d2 because it allows queenside castling and makes it possible to trade off the bishops like this. Play knight c6. White has two main options here. Option 1, castle queenside. This is good because it allows you to play d5, which usually leads to favorable peace exchanges. If they take it, recapture with the knight, threatening knight takes e3, which wins a piece. If they take on c6, recapture and they will play bishop d4. Accept the trade and play queen c7 and then e5, and then put the bishop on e6. Your rooks are active and white's king is just asking for it. If you're worried about this, you can always play f6 to support your center and cover the weak h7 pawn. If they take on d5 instead, recapture with the queen and you've got a good position. If they take the knight instead of the d-pawn, recapture. Now if they play e5, retreat the knight and play f6 after they protect the pawn. I know, I know, I know. Never play f6. But I'm just saying. Shit's pretty good. If they capture the pawn instead of advancing, you will trade off a bunch of pieces like this and end up in this position. Here, trade queens, if you enjoy making short-sighted, retarded decisions. I would, however, suggest you play queen c7. Nice. You down a pawn, but white has no attack, and you have an insanely powerful bishop and rooks that are more physically active than you are. Moving on. Instead of castling straight away, white can play bishop c4. This is annoying because it prevents us from playing d5, which was the whole plan to begin with. It's okay. Instead, play bishop d7, developing and making way for the rook. White castles, and then you play rook c8, which x-rays the bishop. In this position, there's apparently about a 2% chance that they'll play king b1, which is just, it's just beautiful. However, if they're among the remaining 98% of the population without severe brain damage, they will play bishop b3. Trade knights and then play b5. From here, your goal is to use your rook and pawns to break open the queen side and attack the white king. Their goal is to use their rook and their pawns to break open your king side and attack your king. Those are the two main variations in the dragon. If they play something else, stay calm. Just build the same structure, fee and cater the bishop and develop normally. You will have a strong position with easy development and chances to attack on the queen side. And besides, this video is three minutes long, you get what you pay for. And that's how you play the dragon variation of the Sicilian. Practice with your friends is an easy segue to sending them my videos. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can tell everyone you heard about it before it was cool. Leave a gushing, sycophantic paragraph in the comment section to stoke the fire of my colossal ego. I'll see you next time.